Welcome everybody to the last entry in the Sim Spaceflight series. We're playing Re-Entry, an orbital simulator, and today we're going to the moon. We're in the Apollo Lunar Module. First thing we've got to do is request our orbit to be fed to the flight computers. And then we have to request the figures for our powered descent onto the moon. Now once this is done, we've got the data we need in the flight computers, so we've just got to set up the spacecraft. I'm going to very quickly show here on the map, we've got a map of the moon and it shows the point where we start our descent burn and it shows the point where we are expected to land. So let's set up this spaceship. We have a switch to flick, which I think sets the inertial reference uh, system up in some way. One thing that is worth noting, we are able to reconfigure the landing point and we're going to do that a little bit later on as well. So over we go to the Apollo flight computer and we're going to start programming in what we need for our power descent and our moon landing. So the flight computer uses a system of verbs and nouns. So the verb I think is the action you want to run and the noun is the memory location or the register that you want to apply that action to. So this is setting up our initial descent burn towards the landing site. So we've entered a pitch value and we're going to leave roll and yaw alone. We're now going to set up the auto maneuver, I guess the autopilot, and switch that on. We don't have to hand over roll, yaw and pitch control to the computer, so we'll just flick those switches there. So the next values we enter will let us see our time of the descent burn starting so this will be in hours minutes and seconds and it will be based on the mission timer so you can see here it explains that it's 102 hours 48 minutes and 16 seconds into the flight when the descent burn will start you can modify these if you want but there's nothing wrong with the default so we're just going to leave that well alone and if we just open up the map here i'm going to point to the green crosshairs on the map and that will show where we're starting our descent burn relative to the moon's surface. We're now going to move the landing point so it's about 350 kilometers from where we start our burn. And I believe in real life this was a value that was changed in mission control and then fed up to the flight computers. So now we're going to time scale towards 25 minutes before the start of the burn and we've got a few things to do at that point. So we're going to look out for that 25 minute mark by looking at the mission timer here. So because we're time scaling, it's counting up quite quick, but that's 20 minutes and at 25, we return to normal. All right, so now we will set up our powered descent on the flight computer here. So first we'll start the program for the powered descent. This then gives us a countdown timer to the start of the powered descent, so that's the value on row 2, and our distance from the landing site is our value on row 3. So you can set up the event timer, which is part of the main panel, but you don't really need to do it. Um, you can use the guidance computer for your timing reference, so we're not really going to bother with that. So now the computer is in charge of our descent at six minutes before the burn. We're going to press proceed and the spacecraft will maneuver towards the burn location. So we're just counting down now 20, 19 minutes with time scaling here. So we're at the six minute mark. So we're going to hit proceed. We press it again and the computer will know it's allowed to maneuver to where we start our descent burn. Just check the position of the switches here, all correct for pitch, roll and your controllers with the computer. So once we've verified all those and we're satisfied that it's all looking good, we can press proceed again and continue with the program. So with this all in place, we just watch register two, which is counting down our time to power decent. At the two minute mark, we set master arm two on. So the next event we need to look out for at 35 seconds, the display will blank and at that point we need to be sure that the switch on panel 1 is set to descent and the descent engine is armed, which it is. We'll also need to start monitoring the propellant quantity in the descent engine. 
So with five seconds left, the computer will ask for permission to ignite the descent engine. So we're just gonna, we're at 52 seconds now. We're just gonna keep an eye out for about 35 seconds where it blanks the screen. This is all good, it's all going exactly as it should be. And then at five seconds, we can hit proceed and we will then light the descent engine. So there we are, five seconds in, we'll hit proceed and the burn will start. So the computer is now taking care of everything and the messages below are just explaining what's going on. The next step we'll need to do is we'll need to switch over our altitude monitors on panel one just up top here and we'll switch those to show our altitude from the lunar surface which will be based on the calculations in the flight computer. We don't really need to look at the checklist, we know we've done everything right and the burn now begins and we are on our way towards the moon. So now this has started, we've got a couple of switches to flick just to make sure everything is correctly configured. Set master arm here to off as the descent has already started I believe. So essentially in a minute the module is going to start getting data from the landing antennae and we're then going to switch our instruments over to take values from that radar so we get a more accurate picture of where we are in relation to the moon. But until we need to do that, let's just take a look outside. Okay, so the altitude displays are now showing data from our landing radar. And we've got to make an entry on the computer to permit uh, that data to be used. You'll see once we've done that, uh, the third row, our altitude changes to a more accurate figure. So we're 38,000 feet above the lunar surface. Register 2 shows our descent rate. We don't really have a lot to do right now. The messages below are going to brief us on the events that are about to happen. But essentially what happens is at a certain height, the spacecraft begins a pitch around maneuver. And that's when we'll be able to see the moon's surface appear in the windows and when it reaches a few hundred feet above the surface it enters an altitude hold mode and that's when we'll set our final descent rate. So we're just going to take in some views as we're on our final descent towards the surface. You can see that we're not at the height where the pitch around starts yet but we'll jump back inside and we'll appreciate the views out the window as we descend towards the moon. There is very little for us to do at this point we just kind of wait until that pitch around starts and here it is. Our next step is to prepare that hold mode for a little bit later on for when we reach a few hundred feet above the surface. But if you look out the windows right now you can see the craft is pitching around and there it is the moon has appeared we are on our way. Once we hit the attitude hold mode we are able to manually maneuver the lunar module kind of like a helicopter it explains but as long as our landing site is looking good we won't have to do anything so now we're nice straight and level and we're just descending towards the surface the descent engine is still burning and we're just waiting for that stage when we enter the altitude hold and we'll set our descent rate but let's take a look outside check out this view so we're in the right attitude now and we are just descending towards the surface of the moon This angle reminds me of the movie First Man. If you haven't seen it, there's some amazing moon landing sequences in it. So go check it out. It makes you feel like you're actually there. Okay, so this is our altitude hold mode now. So we're in attitude hold and altitude hold. We're now gonna set our descent rate and we're gonna descend very slowly indeed towards the lunar surface. So just another check of that landing site. We're just gonna make sure there's no boulders, nothing like that in our way. And we're looking pretty good, so we don't need to adjust where we're heading. So this final descent is super slow. So we're just gonna kind of skip forward a little bit, but it means that we'll get a nice soft landing and our chances of success should be pretty high. So now we're just waiting for that lunar contact light, which is a blue light on the panel in front of us to illuminate. We can see we're kicking up a load of dust from the surface, so we're getting pretty close to the lunar surface. Just keep an eye out for that light, and as soon as it lights, we'll need to switch off our descent engine, and we'll also need to switch off our attitude thrusters, otherwise they'll continue to try and keep us straight and level. And here we are, we have landed on the moon. 
let's get that engine off. There is a landing program you can run that tells you where you are on the moon, but we don't really need to do that because we're on the moon, it's all good. So let's switch off these thrusters so it's no longer trying to keep our attitude and we'll take a look outside. And welcome everybody to the lunar surface, we have arrived. So Apollo is quite a complex beast to fly, but I found the powered descent bit to be one of the easiest parts of flying this module. If you want true complexity, you should look at the section on powering up the LEM. So we'll leave it there. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you're playing re-entry, you may even find it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.